This is the intro you get when you're so excited to start fishing you forget to do one on the water. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and this video starts off what is probably going to be about eight videos of a trip to Eagle Lake muskie fishing that we did this past August, and I am super excited to bring that to you. Real quick, I don't do this often, but we are getting around, I don't know, in the low 9,000 subscriber mark. I would love to have you, you don't have to smash it, you can just tap it. Just tap the subscribe button. I would appreciate it a lot. I'd love to get to 10,000. Just another one of those goals that we would love to reach by the end of the year. So if you'd be so kind, that would be lovely. Thank you. All right, into fishing. As I said, I was so excited to get up to Cole Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge in Eagle River, Ontario and start fishing muskies in August here that I got in the boat, you know, got the camera set up, but didn't grab the big cannon here and film an intro. I honestly didn't know if we were gonna catch anything. We only had three hours to fish. We started off throwing a uh, Medusa in some weeds and we got a couple contacts there. Not sure if they were muskies or pike. We did raise a muskie doing that. But then the magic happened in the last hour with an Esox Assault EA-109 Killer Corn, my favorite color on Eagle Lake bucktail and we put a couple nice fish in the boat so with that i'll stop talking you watch me miss a few muskies and then catch a few muskies how about that tight salsa in a knot Fish. Oh, I just had one. I just felt the tap tap and I set the hook and there's just nothing there. Oh yeah, look at that. Got a scale. Oh, okay. So, something happened. A couple minutes in. fish it just came off god freaking bless it oh i set the hook really good on that too gosh darn it jim well i'm over for two in the first 15 minutes here god dang it A nice fish. The fish just came up on it. A little late. Definitely a muscalunjo. Huh. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't right on it, that's for sure, but he was definitely came up and had his nose about six inches from it and then just couldn't get him to do anything. Alrighty.
There's a fish. <laughs> Looks like a nice fish, Jim. No, go ahead. Okay, he's right here. All right, you ready? Right in, right in the old bag of rooski. Throw it out of the bag. Throw it out of the bag. Yep. All right, go ahead and step over it. I'll lock it in place here. All right. Hey, he's out. Good job, buddy. Good job. That is not a bruiser. What's a nice fish. Great way to start the trip. All right, well, let's see what we got here. It's probably a low 40s, but it's a nice, solid Eagle Lake low 40s, which is not too shabby, and it is not a happy fish. All right, I know, I know, I know. I know. Come on. All right. Goodness gracious, this thing is not, not happy about what we got going on here. All right. Let's try this real quick. Oh, boy, that is a heavy fish. Look at that sucker. What a, what a great way to start her out. See how big she is. Stop it. She is 44, right on the tip of the tail there. And I'm gonna move around the other side of Jim here. All right. One more quick look at her, and we'll get her back in the water here. Oh boy, that is a heavy fish. All right. Uh, she's tensing up a little bit. Let's get your snout into the waves here, buddy. And there's that lovely kick we love to see. And we have our first fish of the August Eagle Lake trip. I couldn't be happier. We've got probably another, we can fish a half hour after sunset. So according to that, we have another half hour to fish. So we better, better get going. And I can't talk. So that's cool. All right. Oh, neat. Fish. It's all right, it's all right, just go ahead and, oh, you're gonna flip it over. I don't think the net's right, the right way, Jim. There you go, there you go. Okay, ready? Right here, right here. Yep, there we go. Well, let's get that one quick because we're about to lose that one. All right. Got stuck in my sweatshirt. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. And then let's make sure we don't run into anything. All right. Huh. Well, you probably can't see a darn thing because all these dumb things have 
All right, well, that is it. This is probably the last couple of minutes we could be fishing out here because you can only fish till a half hour after sunset on Eagle. And that was about 27 minutes ago. So we got a nice last minute fish here on the Killer Corn 109. Let's get a look at them. Oh yeah, you're scrappy like the last one. All right, behave. All right, you ready, Jim? Oh, I don't think it's as big as the last one, but I think it's probably a solid 40 inch or so. We'll give them a quick, we'll give them a quick check here. It is, come on girl, 41, right on the nose. So we'll switch spots again. We'll give her, one last look with the nice camera and we'll get her back in the water oh boy okay girl yeah let's see all right you feel pretty smart there we'll let her hang out there watch her She's upright, she's kicking. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, in the meantime, we gotta get back to Cold Groves and call it a night, and there our fish is swimming away. So, um, pretty successful day, a 44 and a 41, and I missed a couple, so let's wrap it up. Start over. I wasn't recording. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, folks, well, I didn't think I was gonna make a video out of this craziness, but uh, two fish in the boat and a couple misses is uh, not too shabby for, I think we only had about three hours out here. Uh, by the time we got up here, uh, we drove 12 hours from four in the morning till four in the afternoon, got on the water after we got everything unpacked and into the cabin. So we checked out a weed spot, got some hits right away, and then we came out and checked out some rock spots and capitalized on a couple of nice fish, a 44 and a 41 on the trusty 109 Esox Assault Killer Corn. You can't go wrong with that color and you can't go wrong with that size midsummer on Eagle Lake. I'm telling you folks, you gotta have one of those things in your arsenal if you're up here in July or August, absolutely. So, but with that, we've got a little bit of drive back. We've got to, yeah, we probably still have to unpack. We gotta get some food and I've got to dump this footage so you guys can watch it and enjoy it. So with that, I will thank every single one of you for watching and I will see you on the next video.